on the surface, we breathe 21% oxygen, 79% nitrogen. Under pressure, those increase. So if we think of air as being one, one whole, and we break that down, oxygen is 0.21 and nitrogen is 0.79. Okay. Okay. So that makes 100. We're at one bar of pressure. Everything's nice in equilibrium. So nitrogen comes into our body. Nitrogen goes out of our body. There's no, no difference. When we start to descend down in diving, for every 10 meters we go down, the atmosphere increases by one bar of pressure. Yeah. So what was 0.21 on the surface and 0.79 is now doubled. Okay. And then you go to 20 meters, it's times by three. 30 meters times by four, 40 meters times by five, and on and on. Mm. So we're taking on lots and lots more nitrogen. So this is what determines our no decompression limit. Once we get to the point where our body has taken on too much nitrogen, it then becomes, a we saturated. exceed, yeah, we're saturated. So we exceed our, de our no decompression limits. So we then have to conduct mandatory stops to allow our bodies time to get rid of that excess nitrogen before we can ascend. Get rid by breathing, basically, right? Yeah, so we breathe. Um, there's different ways. So if you're diving what we call open circuit, where you breathe in and you blow bubbles, um, we can do what we call accelerated decompression, which is where we'll use high percentages of oxygen to off gas quicker. So we we would start on something like a 50% oxygen, which we can breathe around 21 meters, and that will help get rid of the nitrogen. Kind of washes out the nitrogen. Yeah, and then when we move up to 10 meters, we can then go on to an 80% mix, and then at six meters, we can use 100% hmm. oxygen. So there's no nitrogen going in, it's just oxygen. Fascinating. Um, Do you feel the difference? You feel a lot Cognitively. better. You feel better after having pure oxygen. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does make you feel good.